so this is going to be like a Sunday quick uh, mystery message reading, and I'm going to pull these for each one of your pals. I'm going to pull three for each. These are the um, Al and Tom Wellness Love Oracles, and then we're also going to use the new Shadowland Tarot, which you'll probably be seeing a lot of, <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of in love with it. Um, we'll use that as the tarot for each pile, okay? So pile one, what's pile one's messages here, Spirit, for pile one? Paul one's messages. What do they need to hear? Okay. Paul two. What's Paul two's messages here? What do they need to hear for Paul two? And Paul three. What's Paul three's messages here, Spirit? What do they need to hear for Paul three? Paul three. What do they need to hear? I guess. And then I'm going to pull some key cards to put on each pile to help you choose for pile one. This pile one is key card. Release the guilt. Pile two. What do they need to know for pile two? Doubt cancels abundance. And pile three. Does pile three need to know? Pile three. Service. Interesting. Okay, guys. So there you go. Three piles. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Time stamps are down below, and I'll see you at your pile. Hey, pile one. So if you chose release guilt, this is going to be a reading, so obviously we're, we're kind of talking about here. So let's see what cards we have. I haven't looked at these yet, so excited. <laughs> excited to see what we got. So we have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. We have the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth, and lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So you could have a awakening here, some sort of significant transformation when it comes to a relationship evolving to the next level, or some sort of inner childhood growth that's taking place here. Whereas before, you may have been in more of a self-absorbed energy, or there's someone around you that has been in this energy, um, or you've been around this energy, and this is something that you're looking at, or you're seeing, whereas you didn't see before. You're having this growth take place there, okay? But this could be also representing you within yourself and how you're, some of you have this dynamic around you where you've kind of attached yourself to that similar energy and you've kind of taken that on and shedding of that, you know, not being like that person. It could be not being like your parents, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or not being like a person that you've been in a relationship with or not playing out the same kind of scenario in a relationship as you had in the past. There's this, this shocking realization. I do feel like this is more of an epiphany here for you um, that's causing this change, this significant change to take place. You're evolving here. Um, whereas before, maybe there was also a part of you that was a relationship always seemed more one-sided or there was a inability to have an equal give and take in that relationship or you may have felt like someone was more absorbed. I want to remind you that this is actually called the golden mirror. So this is about seeing something within yourself. So whatever a relationships around you and how that's been a reflection, like you've been kind of getting what you've been giving, that kind of scenario takes, it goes into play here as well. Um, so if we're talking about a relationship in particular, that, that that's something that ties into that. Releasing guilt is part of this because I feel like you may have felt guilty because of the way that you have been in the past and recognizing these things about yourself brings on that guilty energy. So I feel really guilty. I didn't, I didn't handle that in the situation in the way that I should have or I'm recognizing things that I did there that caused detriment to the relationship in some kind of way or how I was kind of playing things out and seeing this up front, you know, is it guilt seeps in there, but there's a call here to release that guilt that you do feel when it comes to this trans transformation and this epiphany that it's attached to. Um, let's get some tarot. Hold on. There's something else I'm missing from this. What is it? 
What is it? Number 21, Confusion. So number 21 is the world in tarot. It's about an ending that takes place. So there may be some sort of confusion about an ending or if things have ended or around that ending. Um, why things ended. Um, maybe even why you've ended things. An epiphany associated around that. The idea of that, why things actually ended. Where it's more of a self-focused way of thinking. So you're looking at yourself, you're having self-awareness there of how you've played a part in this. And that guilt's coming in with that. But there's confusion there as well. Maybe getting in your head a little bit too much about it. Or you're starting to confuse yourself, or maybe you've just been confused. Um, maybe within the dynamics here, the lesson that's been behind all this. I'm trying to come up with the formula to get past the confusion here is something else that I'm tapping into. Well, let's get tarot. Ace of Pentacles, so there's an offer here. An opportunity to start something new. See something clearly. Justice in reverse. To where there was an unjust that took, that's transpired here. Something that didn't, wasn't balanced like we talked about. Something that didn't, um, something that wasn't right. Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, where your emotions are. Cancer energy on this Ten of Cups with that crab there. You also have Libra here with justice. You have the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Something that hasn't been justified in the past. It's like wanting to come have an opportunity to fix this, right? To get this back into order here because this is an emotional fulfillment this is your desire of what you want having that solid new start or offering or having a message or something here playing out and then that wish fulfillment or happiness from that give me more please ace of pentacles this is about grounding something a two of wands making a plan to take an opportunity you have the globe here the globe here <laughs> um what is justice here in reverse? The devil, yeah. So you're seeing this toxicity that's here. If this isn't you, this is someone around you, okay? They're seeing this toxicity that's here where they're releasing themselves from that, um, recognizing that, that that wasn't justified in some kind of way, um, getting themselves unstuck or untrapped from that, feeling like there was no justice there. There's something to do with this Capricorn energy here more grounded kind of energy. Why is this the Seven of Pentacles? So investing into your own emotional happiness here, spiritual fulfillment as well. Why is this Page of Pentacles here? Death in reverse, Scorpio energy. Clinging on to, I don't want to say clinging on to. That's not what I'm feeling here with this. I, I normally do though when I see the death, but this is about not wanting something to end because you have a brand new start here with the Page of Pentacles, the offer of a new beginning. Something solid, not wanting something to end. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Libra. Did I say that? I did, didn't I? Um, Yes, okay. <laughs> um, I talk to you guys sometimes like, you're right here. Um, <laughs> you are. Um, this wish fulfillment here with this Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. Giving someone what they're wanting. Why, why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? This could be somebody that's not giving to you or you're not giving to someone. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Someone that's closed off here. Look at that. Judgment. Mm. 
in reverse. It's like you have hopes that this person's not blaming you for anything. I need one more for that. The moon. Pisces Cancer Energy. This is a fear. Your fear is that this person hasn't made some sort of judgment call on you. With this narcissist, this could be, this could also be your energy, okay? Whoever it is, it's, it, there's a fear that someone else has made a judgment call here. And they're happy not giving to the situation. Death in reverse. King of Swords. Aquarius energy. I'm thinking about this logically because I think that you're wanting to release some guilt you could be even writing a message to someone or someone could be writing a message to you Seven of Pentacles here. I'm thinking about long term, the investment here, long term. Um, the Four of Pentacles, freedom in reverse. Freedom to invest into something emotionally, spiritually, having that fulfillment. I have one card for lightning. The world, again. The world, the world. That's your epiphany. The ending. Why things ended, how they ended, what part you played. But with the ending, the lesson, you've learned some sort of lesson here within yourself of how you contributed to a situation. And your plan is to change that moving forward. But your fear is someone not being receptive there of that or understanding you in some sort of way. Being happy with the way things are now. That's your fear. What's the Nine of Cups? The Lovers. Super interesting. It's your wish here is the lovers that this person still sees you the same way. What's the devil in reverse? The eight of pentacles. Yeah, you didn't put there's the energy here of you not you didn't put the effort into a relationship or someone else. Remember that. The roles could be switched. Someone didn't put the effort into a relationship. Whoop. That would have been bad. Um, you maybe have dropped the ball here on something. Or you could have caused an ending of some sort. Why is that? Let's see what the Two of Wands is. The Seven of Swords. You're trying to be strategic about how you plan this moving forward with this new opportunity. Because you've already made decisions in the past that caused 
some pain here. That's what you're trying to let go of. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What else is this? The Six of Cups. You didn't put any effort here, or this person didn't put any effort here in this connection with you. There was an inability to bring balance to the situation. you didn't feel internally in balance with the situation you're still being strategic here with how you approach this why is the four of pentacles here in reverse the two of pentacles there's the balance You could have been juggling two different things and now you've kind of, you let one of them go. One of them's more stable than the other one. You've released someone else. For some of you, you've released someone else um, and you're wanting to go back to someone. Or this could be your person. Why is the, um, what is this King of Swords here? The Four of Cups in reverse. There's that epiphany. Could, could have been, you know, bored in a situation. It's, and, not, and not giving to you in the way that you wanted it to. You could have snuck away from someone else. in order to have a new opportunity. And that didn't work out. Now you're having this epiphany of that. Why, why is the Four of Cups in reverse? The Five of Swords. I was just thinking about the Five of Swords because he has five swords he's carrying in his hand when he's running away here. Now you're conflicted. You've had this epiphany here. Somebody got away with something. You ran away from a situation. You're starting to see that in a different way. How are you starting to see that now? The star in reverse. You don't want to lose an opportunity. Hmm. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. The Fool in reverse. There's a fear around this person here of them not wanting to give to you anymore. Them blaming you even and not wanting to take a risk. The Eight of Wands. Okay, so I was thinking, what, what, what does the Page of Pentacles really consist of, right? What is that, that opportunity, that message, offering something consist of with death in reverse? I was searching on this death in reverse in my head with the with the King of Swords thinking, okay, somebody's thinking about something, the truth of a situation. And you may feel like there was a, the truth of a situation here could have been that you were conflicted about the future. You were conflicted about what it was that you wanted in this situation. You felt like there was conflict there and the two of you didn't see eye to eye in that situation. It was something that you needed to move away from. 
and the eight of wands came out with that this is the communication this is what you you want to move now you want to move in a different direction you have these two eights here Sagittarius or Aquarius energy now you want to move towards this right this is the energy of changing your mind having an epiphany realizing something now wanting to have a tell me more about the world yeah the three of wands here but it's you see how it was kind of in reverse it's because you don't know if this is something that's still coming in or not. You know, it's about your ships coming in. But you don't know if that's something that's still on the table or not. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck. Two of swords. There's that decision. Sitting at that crossroads. There's communication. Balancing things out. You feel left out in the cold here. Five of Pentacles. There's that temperance that we talked about with ten of swords in reverse under that. Wanting to have improvements with an ending. The Five of Cups is here as well. Feeling re feeling guilt right there. Five of Cups with how things ended. Wanting to bring balance back into a situation. Feeling left out in the cold. If this person's left you out in the cold and not knowing if, if how to balance out the communication that's involved here. Okay. curious now I'm being called to something else what would this person say to you I didn't grab very many what would this person say to Paul when I can't express myself anything else yeah <laughs> they said yeah got lots more things we want to say I can't express myself it's dark here without you I wish to be like you ooh this person has a much harder time they feel, okay, this is just the message, walking away from situations, whereas they feel like you can walk away more easily. Okay, I can't stop thinking about you. I don't feel like this person feels like you're still interested. Um... I have to let you go to find myself, yeah. And then you have caution and open up. Both of these doors are closed and there's a call here for you to open up, just be cautious, not too cautious. 18 is the moon, which we have here. I think this person is just, I think this person will open up to you, um, but I think that they're very cautious about it. There's boundaries here. Mm -hmm. Okay. At fast. Let's get some future energies, why not? And we'll do it fast. cards flew out of the deck was weird. Yep, I knew that was there. A sexual <laughs> union. <laughs> um, and you have missing you and socialize. Yeah. You have no issues here. This person's missing you. Don't worry. Don't fret. <laughs> no need to be concerned about that. <laughs> Obviously, they're still missing you here because there's a strong connection here that they feel they want to socialize. They want to be able to bring balance because they miss you. And this is future energies. I'll just pull in as well. So there you go. I'm going to get one more for advice here before I get some initials. Can I have one more for advice here for, for Paul Wynn? Okay. Number 29, which is the number 11, master number, saying the course, says, don't panic, you're not on the wrong path. 
you're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. So whatever's transpired here, they're telling you no, don't panic, which I feel like is an energy you may kind of be in. It also says the bottom of the deck, you'll manifest what you need. Express gratitude as if your plans have already come to pass. Trust that your angels are bringing you the assistance that you need. Number 44. So 1144 may be significant. Let me look that up. I know it's an angel number, but I can't remember what it means. Um, I mean, I, th I think it's a significant angel number about guidance from spirit. So may look that up. This right here about staying the course. Maybe I've seen a lot of birds lately, but this is on that saying that, you know, whatever you've started in on here about yourself and seeing this golden mirror, this value within, learning and evolving, not changing, having epiphanies. Stay that course, you're on the right track. Don't panic, even though you may have felt like you took the wrong path here and you're trying to straighten that out, whether that's you or this person. Learn from the experience here that's been here and, and keep continuing to move forward here, keep going, right? Release the guilt. Accept what is. Keep still, keep quiet, and have a good time. In this socializing energy, accepting your emotions, I think, is some part of this. And don't don't over speak, okay? When it you have to be still. Um, and, and keep quiet is like, yeah, don't, don't be over speaking on things, okay? Kind of listen to as well. Um, when you get nervous about things, you could be like you talk more than what you listen. In order to find balance here, you have to have that interaction from both sides. And also they're saying missing you. So have a good time. There's an energy of allowing yourself to open up to this in a peaceful way. Acceptance. Okay, there's not very many uh, uh, initials here, but our letters. You have the snake and the siren. So really being called in, you know, um, Kundalini Awakening here. I just talked about this in a lot in a previous reading I did um, with this sexual union. Being waken, waking up to that, waking up to your divine masculine feminine energies. Um, being called to that. You could have a soulmate here that's kind of calling you to wake up. Or you could be doing this to someone, right? Um, Mm -hmm. They're calling you, you know, they're waking you up. Okay. You can almost spell my name in this bowl. But you have holy. H O L Y and L N. What you can spell from this, but I'm gonna leave you here. <laughs> um, besides that, home, if you had an E, you know, but it's relevant, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up so y'all can see it, and I'm gonna leave you here. So it's just a quick reading. I hope you enjoyed it, hope it resonates, hope it helps. And thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for all your love and all your support and all your kindness, of course. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey, about two. So, doubt cancels abundance. Okay, so you may have some kind of abundance here that's coming towards you. 
and you may be kind of in a place to where you're hesitant to that or you don't know if you can trust it even um so let's see what we have i haven't seen these yet so we have boat receiving what you need <laughs> well there you go um progression arriving moving on and closure issues the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and change their mind interesting and ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union okay obviously you have two cards here of there being a new phase both say a new phase preparing for union here we talked about there being some sort of abundance is coming towards you with this arrival receiving what you need this could be some kind of closure from a situation um, and there being a rekindling here or a transformation that takes place a growth someone changing their mind about a situation here right um, six of swords energy getting to a calmer place and then ascending learning from the experiencing trans transcending those obstacles that were here and preparing for something new could be for some of you preparing for a union with someone um, for some of you this is going to be someone coming in from your past and we have closure with and then you are preparing for something new, a new experience. And for others of you, this this will this will be this person. It, this is going to be a little different from ever, for everybody. But let's get tarot, and I'll see if I can get more in depth about that. This is about you healing, or having closure here, receiving closure. Some of you will be moving on from this into something new. But doubt is here. Doubting the situation is what's going to be hindering your reading. Okay, gotcha. So let's get some tarot and see what we have. I just saw the chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. Um, and there's temperance in reverse. So there's emotional, your emotions aren't, aren't, you don't know how to feel about this, basically. You don't know how you feel about this. And the Nine of Swords just showed up. I just saw that as well. So you, you don't know how to feel about this, and you may have some anxiety over this. So you may be doubting this situation. The Hanged Man in Reverse. Doubting that there's a change here. Doubting this person. Doubting this person's changed. Okay, what do you want to tell me about this for Paul Two? There's your page of cups. There's your message. Um, we have the four of pentacles in reverse. So releasing something. A message that will allow you to release something you've been holding on to here. And, and also the four of, four of cups in reverse. So the fours are that stability. The fours are that foundation. And the four of cups in reverse is an epiphany is a sudden realization of choosing happiness for yourself. What else can you tell me about this? Wow, the page of wands. You're getting a message here, guys, this is a message. You're getting a message from someone, I feel like from your past, there's gonna be some kind of closure that's transpiring here. Um, but doubting this person could be what's hindering your reading. So this is what they're kind of wanting to address. Preparing for union here, having some kind of new phase take place, okay? Um, releasing things of the past. Yeah, you have this. Look at that. This is a wish fulfillment that you've been wanting here with this Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity to, to have a wish fulfillment here. Um, the Page of Wands is that messenger of good news. But for some of you, this is someone new. And it's going to help you to release some issues of the past. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. There's that Nine of Swords. So with this Page of Cups comes the Nine of Swords, <laughs> unfortunately. 
Um, and that's the doubt that cancels abundance right there. Um, why is the four of pentacles in the reverse? So what, you don't know if you can trust this situation or this message because of the way that it's coming to you. You don't know if you can trust it. And that's what brings this anxiety on. The four of pentacles in reverse. The queen of cups. Somebody's releasing their emotions. You, or this could be a boundary and not knowing if you should let your boundary down. Four of cups in reverse. Judgment in reverse. Uh-huh. This is somebody that's changed their mind here about something. Because they could have, this is somebody that could have rejected you in the past with that four cups being there. They're wanting to withdraw what they've decided here in the past. Tell me about the page of wands. The six, this is the lovers. Yeah, this is this message of this lovers. This is a, a message of, of, of this, the lovers. <laughs> choosing you, choosing this, saying this is something good. A message of love. Why is this Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups? The King of Wands, guys. This is the King of Wands energy, fire, fire energy. Someone embodying this. This is desire. You know, this is passion. This is what you've wanted. Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries energies. This is this was your wish fulfillment here. Hmm. Tell me more about the King of Wands. The Five of Wands. You're conflicted about how to take this person. There's also someone that may want to fight for you. You may have some competition here. Tell me more about this Page of Cups. The Eight of Wands. This is communication here. Fast. Fast communication. Um, something starting up fast. Why is the Page of Wands here? Ooh. Well, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Wands, and the Three of Swords in reverse. Forgiveness. This is someone that wants forgiveness and not seeing something that they had. Tell me more about this, though. Why is the lovers here? These cards are just... Um, the Seven of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that did not see or recognize what they had when they had it. I mean, straight up. Now why is the Four of Pentacles here with the Queen of Cups? The Magician. You've manifested this. <laughs> it's... <laughs> why 
why is judgment here? Hold on just a second. Let me see something first. Why is judgment here in reverse? Yeah, look at that. The Ace of Cups. There's that relationship. As someone that's changed their mind about a relationship, they're wanting to rekindle this. They're coming in quick, heavy, and... They're coming in with a lot. There's a wish that they have here with have this solid new start here with you, this opportunity with you. But why is the five of wands here? The world. They're conflicted about this thing coming to a close. The ending. Tell me more about that. The Eight of Swords, yep. Mm -hmm. Eight of Swords with the Five of Swords in the, in the world. How things ended here, or having an ending. You know, you have the Ace to the to the end of the, the last major arcana there, so you go from the first to the last. Um, and it cycles back around again, you know? You go from a nine to an eight. The five is the change of everything. This is someone that wants to know what you want. Why is this, why is this lovers here? The Knight of Cups, guys. This is someone's coming in with an offer, okay? <coughs> Maybe kind of hard to say. Um, you have the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Wands. Someone's coming in with an offer of love and romance, wanting to have something solid here with you. This is their wish, but they're conflicted about that. They're in their head a little bit of how how maybe it can be obtainable with you in some kind of way. Um, for some of you, this is someone new. For some of you, this is someone from your past. For some of you, this is both. <laughs> Okay, because I can see these as two different people here. One of them's going to come with quick communication, but in a, in a page of cups and a playful energy, but it's going to cause you some anxiety here. And this could be the newer person, if that's the case. And then there's someone else here that's already in deep in their emotions for you with the lovers and the knot of cups. And you, this is a choice. You're gonna be sitting here trying to make a choice here. Oh man, and this is, this is like, <laughs> you've manifested this. For some of you, this, this is why I was laughing over here. Um, because you've opened yourself up to someone new and something from the past. You've opened yourself up to, I'm okay if the person from the past comes back in, I can work with that. but also kind of feel like I still want someone new or I'm open to someone new coming in, whoever comes in. So what's happening here is the universe takes that and they're like, okay, well, I'll just throw a milk at you. And so you have this energy here of both of these are coming towards you. And I think that this person here recognizes this as competition. You have this five of wands that's here. For others of you, this is someone that's coming in with quick communication and it causes some anxiety here because you may have felt like you've kind of freed yourself from this and you, you don't know if you should choose this relationship or not or what to believe. And I think that gets you in your head a little bit because of the way that things may have ended with that person. Hmm. The three of wands. See, I was thinking about the magician. What that? What that would? What else could I pull from that? And the three of wands just popped out. This is what you've been waiting for. You have the ship here and the ship here. Receiving what you need. 
progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. This is what you've been wanting. For some of you, this is closing a cycle out with someone from your past and starting something new. But this is your wish fulfillment and you have this opportunity in your hand. Tell me more about the ace, okay. Just <laughs> right out. The hanged man in reverse. You've been in isolation long enough. You've been thinking about this long enough. This person is also, if this is someone from your past, has been in this energy as well, where they're seeing things in a different way and they're ready to kind of approach the situation here of what it is that they want. Um, now this doubt cancels abundance is still into this because even though you have these two things or this person, whichever scenario fits, um, doubting the situation is what's going to affect it in a negative way. Tell me more about about the king of swords the f look at this the five of wands the five of swords this could also represent your energy here because this is aries which is self and focusing on what you need to choose for yourself with this opportunity and what would bring you happiness here because this is all conflict and not knowing what to do with this Thinking about what you've learned, not getting trapped in your head, not letting anxiety take over. Um, this is the this would be the doubt of the abundance here. The five of swords is you're gonna have to leave someone behind. You're conflicted about who that's gonna be. I am really getting this, guys. I'm really getting this that there is two people that's approaching you. How are you going to discern? I mean, I guess everybody's choice will be different, right? This has been coming out in a reading, a reading I did not too long ago. The Eight of Cups just flipped out in my lap. Either you're walking away from someone or you're walking back to a situation. In reverse, it's that you're walking back to a situation. So maybe that's for some of you what you'll choose. Because maybe there's more love here. Or you know there's love here. Anything else you want to tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse? Oh, look at that. The Eight of Pentacles. Maybe there's still some healing to be done. With the past person here. You have eight, eight, eight. Eight, 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 and two fives. Eight, eight, eight. So eight is things coming to you in abundance, mastering lessons, infinity number, continuing the cycle. Doubting this opportunity that you get could be your, is your downfall. So you need to stay away from that. How do you know what to choose? How do they know what to choose? Five of Swords. Well, the Nine of Cups is here, so whatever it is that brings you happiness. Okay, so we have the Hermit, which is another Nine, and the Ten in Reverse. Oh. Knowing your worth and your value is really important here. Okay? Whatever's going to give you that abundance Whatever's gonna make you feel valued, that's what you give to. But I do feel like there's someone here that may now feel that they see that value in you that they didn't see before, and then there's someone here that that's, sees it from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, where do you go with, what do you do with that? up to you. King 
of Pentacles in reverse. Who is it that's stable here? Someone that you could you feel more like you can be more stable with. This is also a message to be honest with yourself about what it is that you deserve. The Ten of Pentacles, what you can invest in long term. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Not not a quick experience, right? The Three of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. The Tower. What? The Empress. Five of, five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. The Seven of Swords is someone getting away with something, some deceptiveness that's gone into, into this. The Tower moment is taking place, and the Empress is here with the Five of Cups. There's somebody in the Emperor. Okay, I can't unsee that. And the Four of Swords is that period of awaiting rest, thinking about things. This is what they're saying. Think about it. Think about things. You have the emperor and empress that are both upright, but you have a disappointment in the middle of them. Regret. It's sitting in the middle of them. Someone here left someone out in the cold, and there was some deceptiveness in here that went into this in a tower moment that took place. Or the empress and emperor energy. There's regret sitting in the middle of that. Five of Cups. Strength in reverse. Running out of patience was what there's what the regret is. The sun in reverse. Being disappointed. Why is the tower here? The Hierophant. There's that lesson in that tower moment. Why is the Empress here? The Seven of Cups in reverse. Getting out of that delusion. Why is the Emperor here? Justice in reverse. Someone someone was, was, was stuck in an illusion of things. It wasn't reality. And they've, and they've gotten out of that. Divine feminine energy. Divine masculine energy here feels like there was injustice that was, that was had which is why the tower moment has took place in the first place. That's where the lesson comes from. And there's a disappointment, regrets between both of these. And dis dis disappointment with the sun energy as well, but not being successful here, being sad and vulnerable to this. Seven of Swords. The Page of Swords. Communication about some sort of deceptiveness that was here some sort of deceit, um, feeling as, as someone getting away with something. The Five of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. This is his past energy I'm reading, okay? And this is why it's hard. This is like someone saying, I'm sorry I left you out in the cold. There's things that you're unaware of or that you didn't know that I wasn't honest about. And I, I learned a lesson here when this tower moment took place. I know I don't want to leave you in your head or I don't want, I don't want you to be not, not understanding or not knowing what actually has transpired here. And I feel guilty because I wasn't strong enough about feeling like this could be successful or feeling like I could be clear with you about everything. And I don't feel justified in this situation. I don't feel like this situation is justified in some sort of way. Why is the, the justice in reverse? Or I, this person may also feel like 
things have not worked out for them because of this. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Swords in reverse. They don't feel justified with the ending of things. This is closure. This is a want or a need for closure. But doubting this person in this situation could cancel out the abundance that you're actually meant to be experiencing here with healing. For some of you, this is simply that, that closure taking place and then someone else coming in after this transpires. And for others of you, this is this person that you will be reconnecting with. So it's going to be look a, a little bit different here for everybody. Um, and you have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Paul, Paul one had the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And they could be, y'all could be, this could be one and the same, by the way, if you're interested, if you're drawn to that. Um, and the High Priestess is under that with another two. So balance is here to come in on things that have left you in a deluded state, unclear about the situation, feeling deceived in some kind of way. Having this inner knowing that there's a decision that's going to be coming is for some of you. You've known that there's going to be a decision that's going to be laid on you here, um, whether that's between two people or whatever the situation is. Knowing that you're going to have to face that decision is something that you've been feeling like is coming. Okay. Strength is here again. Having strength. Um, I just saw memories, but I didn't, I'm not going to take it. You have security here. Strength. There you go. Twin flame. We have the Empress and Emperor over here in balance again. Mm hmm. <laughs> balance coming into play. Things need to be balanced out. Whether that's to balance out things and move forward. An opportunity for new love, guys. And if you want to choose that or not, is here as well. Um, be careful what you wish for, right? <laughs> Um, that came flying out. Yeah, look at that. Wheel of Fortune. There's that opportunity to have something secure, right? Secure a new beginning for yourself. Strength, determination, perseverance, self-discovery, twin flame, and the balance. Bringing balance to the situation. Key. You have the key to your success. Doubt cancels abundance. Don't forget that. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself in what it is that you're capable of and what you want. Don't doubt yourself in whatever it is that you choose. Um, continue to move forward, you know, not doubting it. And hope. All is not lost. A positive, favorable outcome is still assured. And safe. And make the effort. And single in reverse. An ex-partner. Okay, I literally cannot make this up. Very soon. And there's that opportunity again. With a new love. <laughs> There it is again. Um, an ex is coming back, and also I feel like someone else that's single that's just seeing you being single and, and making a move on you, making some kind of effort towards you, but you needing to feel safe. So there's a decision. You have a decision that's coming in. You have to make a decision, okay? Someone that you wanted from your past has seen some things differently and wants to come back in and explain. For some of you, this is simply closure. You have the key here to this, okay? Um, and for others of you, you're making a choice. If you want someone new or if you want this person. Hit boss. It's almost over. <laughs> Number 16, which is the tower, which we saw right here in the middle of your spread. Um, your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. It's almost over. One more, can we have one more for Paul too, please? Archangel Michael is with you now. That's good to know. The bottom of the deck says you're ready for more, number 40. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is time to make changes you have been contemplating. So you've already been, that's a side note, I feel like for some of you too. Number three, even though you can't see it, I am actively working on this situation. I'm here and helping you. So you have help from a higher source that's here trying to help balance this out, especially if you are this number three here, Empress Energy, if you are this Empress here with the number three, okay? Whatever tower moments transpired here. It's like spirits, like we're, we're on it. We're with you. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> we'll, we'll just ask us for guidance and we'll help you 
facade, you know? It's important here, safety, needing to feel safe with whoever wants to make the effort. Great love is worth putting in time and effort. Whoa, I'm not taking all that. Can you just give me one, please? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a safe card. I'll take this one. With love. <clears throat> Dearest you, we have a secret for you. <laughs> the more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you're willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective, and find answers to questions that you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever's going on, it's important to know that you're not aware of all the aspects of it you need in order to make an informed choice. So there's things here, in particularly of this person from the past that you're not aware of. We saw that and that's part of what they're bringing to you, right? That seven of swords that's there, that page of swords that's there, that page of pentacles, that understanding, that tower moment, all that stuff, stuff. There's things here that you're unaware of that are gonna come to the light, but there may have been a time where you needed that time to, of solitude to get to a place to where you're capable of understanding this in the way that you're going to be. Um, <clears throat> yeah. For, in order for you to make an informed choice, which you have the two of swords, that choice sitting there where you feel safe. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, and that's interesting. As you keep your mind and your heart open to new experiences and a richer existence overall, all of us over here want you to be all you can be. We're cheering you, cheering for you. Can you hear us? Interesting. Okay. I don't know why I feel the need to shake these up so much, but. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got. Look at that. That one was barely holding on. And this is Pile One's card. So maybe a message from Pile One. I do feel like there's a connection here to some, for some of you. Encouragement is here. Release guilt. <clears throat> Prepare. Uh, oh, there you go. It's almost over. Move away. Moving away from doubt, I think, is really important. Preparing to move away from something else is something else that for some of you, you'll know what that means. Um, or someone may be moving the way, you know, or being encouraged to move away. We have ex appreciate yourself. So release the guilt that you have here and appreciate who you are. That's really important too for those of you that have already freed someone from your past and you want to move forward. You just want closure here. Um, that's a big part of this as well. Really, in order to get rid of this doubt, having acceptance with what it is that you need, how it is that you need to feel safe. Accept what is. I promise I didn't see that. Accept what is. I don't know why I feel like these are two different if this is your person side, they may be encouraged to be prepared to move away from something. And if this is your side, this is releasing the guilt, appreciating yourself and where you are, not being doubtful for the abundance that you have, releasing guilt for the abundance that you have as well, and accepting what is. Interesting reading. <laughs> okay. We have the mushroom in the bowl. So the mushrooms, they come out quickly. They're hidden. Um, the way that they come out, it's like they grow everywhere. We, we don't even, I mean, sometimes it's like overnight. There they are. Like, where did that come from? You know, that kind of thing. Um, just think that there's things here 
especially with the past person that you're completely oblivious to. That could have been something that they were having to work on or understand or deal with that you didn't know about. Um, M H U mushrooms. <laughs> it comes out again for some, some letters. Kind of remind me of that. Z M X I N another N another I in and out. Maybe you've been in and out with this person a lot or they've been in and out of your life a lot or something to like this. A R D Y R O and the heart Interesting. It's interesting that I can't see anything. Like I'm not seeing anything. Roxy is here. Um, doctor. X Y Z. I saw that in the bowl the other day. X Y Z, like the ending of something. Um, in love, in heart, you know, someone being in love with you. And the in, so you may be kind of visiting this person or maybe going somewhere with this person. Um, hard, this, this may be a hard decision. What else, what else, what else? Or, so this or that. to say must, but I don't, I don't have the letters here, but this person may have had to do something. And this could be W as well. Okay. I guess I'm going to leave y'all here. Hold these up. Honor. Honor their word, or had to honor their word. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you here. I just heard hummingbird, glory, Mary, and I'm gonna leave you here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for all your love and support. Hope this helps. Good luck. This seems difficult, so good luck to you on this. Um, and thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey, Paul 3. So if you chose the service um, key card here. Ooh, maybe hard to get someone to help you out here. <laughs> I have a hard time holding on to that. Okay, so I haven't seen these yet. Um... Self-indulgence is here, focusing on yourself, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, heartbroken, see a pattern here, <laughs> deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning, an engagement ring, wasn't expecting that, um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Paul too had a similar card that was about union on the end here. Um, so service. Did y'all see that? My candles just went out. Hmm. Maybe there's a situation here that you don't know if it's serving you anymore. Um, trying to stay committed to yourself here, I think. Trying to be, you've been in a place to where you've been having to heal. There could be a separation here with someone with separation. There could be a breakup, you know. Um, you could be at a point to where you're feeling lost. Um, and having to go through this healing process. 
focusing on yourself here, focusing on get, getting past this heartbreak. And then you have engagement ring here. I feel like this is having to do with committing to yourself and your own journey um, and what's serving you and what's no longer serving you. Um, it's hard not to see it like that with you with these two cards that are here plus, plus service. And this is obviously an offer of commitment here, but still staying very committed to yourself and your self-worth. Okay. The engagement ring is that offer though, that offer of commitment. So someone may be, look at that, three of swords in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse. Okay. You may have been going through a separation, um, an ending, and been through this process of healing at this time. And there may be some, making some improvements there within yourself, staying committed to yourself. But there could also be someone here that's offering you some sort of commitment. Um, kind of feeling or needing to know if that's something that's serving you or not. Look at that, Knot of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. be someone regretting some things here regretting hurting you or this could be just you not wanting to have regrets which has been I feel like a part of this whole um, reading today so it could be it's just a collective energy I'm picking up on tell me more about this okay so the six of cups in reverse that's letting go of the past tell me more about this let me put these up here so I don't have to Smash them all down here in the other part of it. Um, the Four Pinnacles in reverse. Pile 2 had that same card in the same spot. <laughs> Letting go of someone. Whoa. That flung up and landed in my chair. The Moon in reverse. Fear of letting go of someone. You may have been holding on to someone here from your past in fear of letting that person go. And that might be what is what you've been healing. Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse. It's definitely a fear-based energy here, being trapped in your head. There also could be some sort of offer here that comes in that leaves you kind of in the space of being trapped in your head, trying to figure out what serves you and what's, what's not, what doesn't serve you what you should commit to and what you don't need to commit to. And yeah, the two of wands, making planning, planning on moving forward, planning on your future here, planning on your future, staying committed to planning on your future and not getting trapped in your head about letting things go of your past or something, something that's here. This is in general, not just with the heartbreak, but through this heartbreak, I feel like you've learned a lot within yourself. You've done a lot of shadow work. You've done a lot of healing. And you know your self-worth and what what you're deserving of and staying committed to yourself in that and, and what serves you. Um, there's an energy of growing, evolving, leaving things in the past, leaving people places in the past, um, not leaving yourself in a place where you feel restricted or bound to anything, kind of having more freedom here. And, you know, letting go of fear, not letting it hold you back. Recognizing and knowing that this anxious energy is something that's going to be here, but I want to get a clarifier for it. Um, but still going, moving forward with your plans. So why is the Six of Cups here in reverse? There's the Two of Cups. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in reverse? the world. Why is the moon here in reverse? The two of swords. Facing your fear when it comes to making choices for yourself. Why is the eight of swords here? The nine of wands. 
quit fighting the anxiety here, knowing that it's just going to be a part of this. The Two of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And this is a making a plan to do something for yourself here. This is interesting. Two, two, two here at the bottom. Okay, and look at that. High Priestess just showed up, which is also two when I said that. That's kind of crazy. Two, 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 two is actually an angel number. Can't remember what that means. May look that up. Um, but it's symbolic of, of balance and decisions and things playing out for the best. And I think this is what you're focused on here now, serving yourself, right? The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse because she's not giving her energy away. She's serving herself. She's doing what's best for her. And making plans to do what's best for you is, is part of this here. This high priestess energy is this inner knowing, following your inner guidance. Not needing to really speak about what it is that you're planning on doing. Just knowing that you know what's best for you. Um, so the Two of Cups would be that relationship or that partnership um, in leaving. For some of you, it's just leaving relationships in the past. Tell me more about the Two of Cups, please. The Five of Swords. Being conflicted about relationships or a relationship in particular with this being the soulmate energy. You may feel like someone's left you behind, but being conflicted about leaving a relationship in the past. It's like you're moving on past this. This could also represent conflict in a relationship that you're just moving on past. You're just getting over that, you know? Um, the Four of Pentacles, you're releasing the ending. The, this, is, this is like closure, so you can release something. Why is the world here? The Four of Swords. This is giving yourself time to close out a cycle um, and release that cycle of what you've learned. This is the shadow work that's going into this. Focusing on yourself here. Focusing on healing. Why is the Two of Swords here? Now this is what I want to know that's most interesting. In the middle of your spread here. Why is the Two of Swords here? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Where it is with the King and Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, this is a partnership that I'm seeing. But this is also about you and, and you creating your own stability and your own security and what serves you, okay? And your Divine Masculine and Feminine Energies within. So making the decision is based off of that more masculine energy of you stepping into that leadership role and making those decisions about where it is that you want to stabilize your energy where you feel safe at and getting past the fear of making the wrong choice for yourself, okay? Um, why is the, okay. The Nine of Wands, you have the King of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Now this could represent you not getting in a place to where you're, for, for, for first, what, hold on. Not feeling the need to defend yourself or defend the decisions that you make. Staying focused on that. Not letting outside influence um, create a, an anxiety for you. That's something that's important here, okay? Um, when it comes to this decision and knowing that you're doing this for yourself. Also, if this is there's anyone else here around, um, creating some kind of illusion in that. So you could have someone around you here that that you may be a, a worried about. The, the what they think or, or what they're going to say or you're the feeling the need to defend yourself. Um, and that's something that they're saying here. Don't get too far into that because you're just going to let it mess you up and get in your head. Um, the other thing here is that, you know, you don't have to defend every decision that you make. You don't. You do not have to. You, once you get past that, my gosh, you know, you, 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 once you get past that idea that you have to defend the decisions that you make in your life to 
every Tom, Dick, and Harry that's around, <laughs> you don't. You don't have to. Um, and it's an illusion, right? The Eight of Swords is not real. It's something that you're creating in your mind around you. Who's, how's this person going to feel? What, they're, what are they going to think? What, are, what is that going to cause for them? What is this? What is that? What is it? What's this? That. It's keeping you stuck from being able to really move forward and fight for what it is that you really want for yourself. Um, so be very careful about that energy there. It's not serving you, okay? Really not serving you. Um, and what it is that you're trying to create here. This is also could be giving up on someone of your past um, that was reckless with you in some kind of way with this King of Wands being here. Can you give me any more information about that? Yeah, the tower. Mm-hmm. So, you being trapped in your head about creating a tower is something that's here with someone else being attached to that. Um, or, yeah, everyone kind of looking at you like you're doing the wrong thing could be attached to this as well. Um, getting in your head about that. What are others going to think? It's going to cause this tower moment to take place, right? But, with that being said, if this is an actual person that could cost could have caused some sort of uproar, chaos in your life, tower moment taking place. Um, and kind of letting go of that battle, of that fight, and allowing the tower to come down. Allowing yourself to see it as something that was beneficial as something else that's here. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Because it made you become more awakened, more alert, and this could be you just waking up to someone else's behavior as well. Um, but it's, it's caused you to become more alert about how you maybe get trapped in your head a lot. Something that, about yourself that you weren't seeing before, part of your shadow side. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? Devil in reverse. Yeah, I mean, this is, you may have felt trapped in the past like you had to give to a situation. Um, you had to be generous there. And this is you getting out of that, making new plans here for yourself. You don't have to give to this person like you originally felt like you did. And also, this could be just you getting out of this mindset of, being the people pleaser, you know, those tendencies that are there and, and breaking yourself free from that. Give me some more here. What am I missing here with the devil in reverse? There's the two of pentacles that came out and the nine of wands in reverse. Someone could have been balancing you here with someone else and not seeing your value. That's something that you're leaving behind with self-worth being here and the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse. Something else is you not wanting to juggle things anymore. You wanting to have a solid foundation for yourself. Not wanting to have to juggle someone else's needs or wants. Mm hmm why is the let's see all the twos that are here are insane we have all the twos out we have all the twos out all upright everything's coming into balance here for you because of this shadow work that you've done because of the healing that you've done and during this either separation or heartbreak that was caused tell me more about the two of wands the ace of cups that's a relationship this isn't just a relationship though this is a new experience, a new emotional experience for you. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It's the, it could be the way that you're, you're looking at love for yourself. It could be the way that you're looking at it. It's just an experience of something that you want for yourself. Planning on that. It being a whole new emotional experience for you. Anything else you want to show me here with the Ace of Cups? The King of Cups. 
finding balance and peace in that in that experience. Planning for an for, for planning for an opportunity, a new opportunity in love. And someone that's kind of been hindering this, that you felt like you had to balance. It's keeping you feeling lack. You're getting out of that. You're making plans for the future here. Um, to have someone new that's very, very balanced with this King of Cups energy. I have three kings out here, one queen. Tell me anything else you can tell me about the King of Cups. The King of Swords. <laughs> um, how funny. You could have the relationship that's coming in here with this engagement ring that's being here, right? And this could be something that you're planning even. But this is having this union, this partnership with someone. Um, someone, you have Aries and Scorpio energy here. Taurus, Libra, uh, Scorpio, Aries. Capricorn, um, Pisces, Cancer energies. So, this is you stepping into your power. You could be making plans here of a relationship and very, like, you feel emotionally imbalanced about this. And like it makes sense to you with this King of Swords, or this could be someone coming towards you. But there's something else that you're releasing here, and I think it's this need to have everyone agree with this situation, right? To agree with what what it is that you want. Give me one more. You trying to please everyone in the situation of the ideas that you have moving forward has left you feeling lack and and not supported. Um. And it's like you're waking up to this. You know, this is part of your shadow side that you've kind of waken up to here. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles in the reverse. The Three of Cups in the reverse. Now, remember I talked about this being releasing things of your past. Um, letting go of what no longer serves you. You could be walking away from people or places, things around you that you feel like friends even you know around you that you feel like you thought at one point were some kind of emotional supportive energy to you but they aren't and you're just recognizing this um that that they weren't serving you in any kind of way you may have been denying yourself of that but you're starting to realize that now and you're making this choice here to face that fear and walk away from that Tell me more about this King of Wands. I think this may be upsetting to someone. There's something here that causes you anxiety. Tell me more about this. King of Wands in reverse with the Tower. The Hermit. You've gained some sort of insight here. You've awakened and gained some sort of insight here. Something that you feel trapped in, you have felt trapped in your head about. The four of wands, that's union. This could also represent a home, stability, your security. It's like you're, that's what causes you anxiety. It's wrapped around this feeling stable. This is why you've been in this hermit energy of thinking about this a lot. What can they expect? What can Pile 3 expect here? Oh. The Five of Cups. There's regret here, remorsefulness. With the lovers. There's a soulmate connection here. You have a king and queen of pentacles. You have the two of cups and the lovers. And the six of cups. What else? What can they expect? The ten of pentacles. There's someone here that regrets or feels 
is sad and misses you. There's loneliness here. You're going to get what it is that you want from this situation. Whatever the situation is, person, place, thing, you're going to get what it is that you want here. Anything else you can tell me about what's coming towards how three? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You, this is maybe an opportunity that you've missed in the past. Let me get some more with that. What is this Five of Cups here? The Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is the Lovers? Okay. The Ten of, of Wands. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Eight of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. Okay. Judgment. Full in reverse, the bottom of the deck, the magician under that, and the Nada Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. For some of you, you want to manifest something here, but you don't feel like, or you don't know if you have everything that you need and you don't want to make a mistake. You know that there's risk involved behind this. There's someone here that misses you has regrets um, and it feels the burden of this relationship or this love that they still have and carry for you with the lovers and the ten of wands knowing there needs to be something that changes here this eight of cups is, is kind of representing that this person still has emotions here lots of emotions here wants to For some of you, if you're walking away from some sort of foundation that you have a, a lot of time and energy into, it's harder for you to walk away from that. You don't want to walk away from that. This is an energy of not wanting to be, not wanting to have regrets. And, and facing a renewal here, not wanting to lose the opportunity to have a renewal. But being cautious here, the fool in reverse, he's cautious. He's not like the fool, not looking up to the sky. When he walks right off the cliff, he's looking. He's paying attention to what is there. What If, if you have the tools that you need, if you don't have the tools that you need when it comes to this offer of love, romance, um, if you're in love with this situation or if you're not, you know, if this is something that you can work on or if you can't, really kind of looking at a situation and saying, is, does this serve me? Can I have a ten of cups, ten of pentacles here? I want to get one more. Three of wands wanted to show itself, so this may be something that you've been waiting for. Why is the queen of wands in reverse? The five of pentacles with the five of cups. You definitely left someone, or or you have feeling this left out in the cold here with the separation that's here, feeling left out in the cold. Could be also in a place to where you have felt like financially insecure you know and that kind of thing the queen of cups just showed up i didn't ask for it but here she is in reverse so not only you could be feeling emotionally there's just a, this heavy energy of this either this person missing you you missing this person or both you have three queens out here now and three kings And the sun in reverse just showed up. Why well, is the ten of wands? Disappointment in, in this relationship. Um, you have the page of wands that's here. It's weird. It's like there's a relationship here. Choice that you've made. being a burden, and that's good news, coming towards you. 
there's a message here from someone. There's, these are so similar. These readings are so similar. Um, the reaction to them are different. Why is the Eight of Cups here in reverse? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. This is going back to something that you are, that is emotionally and stable. That is really fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling. You feel safe, you feel secure in this. Going back to this. Or someone is. They've made like the, the wrong choice in this. And it's been a burden. Tell me about the judgment. Okay. It's also you not wanting to make a choice here. Look at that. The three of swords in reverse. Forgiveness, healing. There's your queen of swords. <laughs> Think of all the queens out now. Um, and the seven of wands. Not knowing if you can trust the situation here. Feeling on the defense a little bit and with the waiting that's here. Let's wait and see. You want to make sure you feel secure before you commit to something. Starting slow. Slow and steady wins the race. I should start that in my head. Um, apology. <laughs> Just picked it up like that. And you have that page of pinnacles that's under the deck there. Um, not knowing if you should trust the situation. Should trust the forgive, forgive and trust soulmate energy. Warning mm -hmm. and friendship. Don't dismiss the red flags with friendship here, guys. respect very very important because this I feel like what is what you've been lacking if there's a friendship here around you where you don't feel respected that's your red flag you go from two three to four so this is a slow progression. You have flirt here, which is 17, the star. Yeah, self-awareness and gifts. Tapping into your higher self, questioning your routines and patterns. This is what you, you want someone that's going to respect you. You want someone that's gonna see your value with gifts. You want to have this friendship here. You want to have this Energy, of, you know, this playful, fun, kind of flirtatious energy here. Having self-awareness and catching on to the red flags if you're not getting or see, receiving these things is part of this. And it's part of your growth. It's part of knowing your self-worth. It's part of what you've experienced in the separation. So if there's someone here that's coming back around, these are the things that you need to ask yourself. Are these here? Are these things that are here? Are these, are these things that I'm receiving? And so there is an energy here of being on the defense a little bit, putting your guard up a little bit and waiting to see who this is, what they represent, what they want. And if they really are committed to you here, if they really do want this solid new start, or if this is kind of a facade here, if you're trying to get something from this Empress, right? Slow and steady. Emperor Empress energy that came out in Paul 2 too, I think. Okay, bottom of the deck. And now I crossed the line with you. There's something to do with this person feeling like they've maybe disrespected you in the past. I want to get some messages from them before we continue here. What would this person say to Paul 3? Whoa! That one went fly. Way off the board. Will you ever make things right? Decisions. It's time to decide about this relationship. You speak to me through music. You came closer than anyone. Let's see what future energies pull. I do still feel though that a lot of this has to do with you 
in your life in general and what serves you and what doesn't overall, you know, and you growing from this experience here is what you really need to hold on to. Um, future energies here for Paul three. So you have an opportunity here, the money card. Also, un unbalanced finances may have hindered this connection as well. I just saw make an effort and Wheel of Fortune, but they didn't come out. So we have letters, so communication. They're reaching out to communicate soon in obsessions. Be strong. There are strong desires and attachments here. Don't get in your head too much. Go. They're, they're trying to say here is remember your worth. You're this Empress energy. Slow and steady. Not a pinnacles. Be determined. Be determined to get what it is that you give here. The six of pinnacles. Be determined to, to have that balance take place. Six of wands. Be determined to see the long-term investment here. Focus on these things, okay? It's important that you focus on these things. Don't get too caught up in the desire that you have for this person or the desires that you have with making decisions in your life. Focus on what the, what is best for you here. What can you grow from this experience? Bottom of the deck is isolation, soulmate again, sexual union, and deception. Uh-huh. Spiritual lesson there when you have the Ten of Cups, the family card. There's a lesson always behind everything. You may have been in this time of isolation from a soulmate. You still have, I mean, oh gosh. All they're kind of really saying here in general is know your worth, basically. You've, you've been through this experience and if you have an opportunity to communicate just be careful of that desire that you have. It can get in the way of things. Don't let it overwhelm you. Embrace this magical moment. And you have that Ace of Pentacles coming in right there. You are in perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. I'm going to get one more for you. One more. And then we'll get some a postcard from Spirit. You are protected. Good to know. <laughs> Number 39. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So there you go. The decisions that you make here, whatever that is, they're saying they're here. You know, you proceed with caution, basically. Proceed with caution. Slow and steady. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't jump into this too. Um, don't let the flirtatious kind of energy here take over. Make sure that you be slow about this. Have confidence in that. That will tell you a lot. It tells you a lot. It tells you so, so much. When you detach or tell someone that you need time, you need some time, you need some space. In their reaction to it, do they allow it? You know, do they, is it hard for them? But they still allow it? Because in that, in that way, they're not doing what's best for them. They're doing what's best for you. So is it hard for them, but they still allow it to happen? Or they still let it happen without being upset and immediately detaching and running away, you know? Or going to someone else. But they say, okay, okay and they allow you to have your space. Because the way that they react is gonna tell you so much, so much um, about this person and what their true intentions are with you. If you tell this person, <laughs> this person's coming in and you tell them, I'm gonna need a little time to think about this, or I, ne I need some space here, or I need to do go slowly, can we just go slowly? See their reaction. Okay, see how it plays out. With love, with love. <laughs> Dearest you, if you allow your awareness to settle in, you will hear us whispering sweetness and encouragement to you. You will know the truth of things that cannot be discerned through the material world. 
The receiver of this kind of essential knowing is your intuition, which is not your sixth sense, but your first, the prim primary navigational system of your soul. You are entering the age of consciousness. It's time to accept that the paranormal is normal. Human beings are multi-sensory, multi-dimensional beings. Spirit is infused in all, and your soul's job is to discover those essential truths here on earth where we all agree to play. Today, trust your spidery senses, read between the lines, tune into the stories behind the stories, and your world will show you miracles. Fear not, for we're right here, and spirit loves you. Trust the invisible. There's a clear message that you're protected here and that spirit's by your side through this. But per perceiving with confidence, caution, and slow. What in the world? Well, that's not George. One of the other cats are meowing kind of funny. I have to go check on them. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, well, I had more than that. Dissolve into here. Allow. Is it true? Let's get one more. Rest, relax, and relief. Hmm. Okay. Dissolve into here, be in the present moment. Allow, you know, allow this person to speak. Allow for communication. Maybe something here as well. Um, really tune it into yourself and figure to figure out if, if you feel like this is true or not. And again, kind of rest on that. How you feel. Now my dogs are going crazy, my goodness. So we have the Pegasus. It's been coming out a lot in my readings. It's a kind of Aquarius energy to me, but it's about something being, you know, um, unconventional. Unconventional. So let's just say that. I can't say that word right. Unconventional. What the heck? Um, <laughs> I'm tired. I've done a lot of readings today. Um, so Aquarius energy here again with the sun. I mean the sea. I'm just tired. The star, sun may be relevant, um, having success, having success with a wish that you have. Something playing out here, but that's also healing, right? And then you have the scorpion, so Scorpio is significant, um, but transformation taking place. We saw that too in the beginning, you transforming. And you have that here too as well with the butterfly blossoming, becoming something different, opening yourself up to something different, something that's changed here for yourself, um, allowing yourself to be that person now, getting out of the sad energy with Eeyore. Eeyore's, maybe you need to be in service of this person in some way, but where's the boundary law there, right? You don't want to be over giving of yourself. This may be part of, part of what you're learning. You have HQ, so headquarters there, <laughs> um, and X, so there's that two of swords at crossroads, and so there's more to come. Another X, a B, a D, S, I, discern, I just heard, C, discuss, A, N, and again, B, R. Don't be boastful, okay? Um, Sonic's in the bowl may be relevant. <laughs> Just saying. I've been having to watch that a lot lately with my son. Um, <laughs> he loves that movie. Sun is here as well. I just said that. <laughs> Sin. Um, what else? hone in on this. Uh, there's an energy here though. It's, it's like allow yourself to be open to the unknown. Things that you may not be aware of, may not know. Um, 
Sonic 2 reminds me of not, not to go through this too quickly. Be like that snail. I know I've already said that once, but there's there's some BS here. <laughs> Discerning against the BS there. What's BS, what's not. Um, okay, I'm gonna hold this up so y'all can see everything. And, well, so y'all can see everything. Let me put it in the camera. <laughs> so thanks guys for being here. I'm gonna go take a really long nap. I appreciate you guys. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for all your love and all your support and all your kindness, of course. And hope this helps, and I hope to see you guys soon.